722 is over in England uh, since June for the memorial of Sir Sterling Moss. And uh, today we try to fire up the engine, did some laps here to check if everything works and uh, we're happy so far. We're at the Royal Naval College in Greenwich because basically it's like a sort of stunt double for the centre of London. It's where people like Bond and such like come and film so that they've got somewhere that looks like Whitehall but is all closed roads. This is where the camera guys have the time to sort of indulge themselves a little bit and get all those details. The car looks great from every angle and we're really looking forward to some day where we're going to be actually taking this out on the streets of London. The 722 Sterling Moss's car back to his house. It's going to be something really special. It's a once in a lifetime event today to get 722, the car that Sterling Moss made so famous on the 1st of May in 1955, back home here in London, where Sir Sterling spent pretty much his entire adult life. It's truly magical. We've had a helicopter up in the sky. We've had people along the entire route through Westminster and then coming back to Mayfair here. The car was filmed car to car with a tracking vehicle and cameras inside the car as well, just to capture everything once. We had one chance to do this. Sterling Moss winning the Miller Million in 1955 in that car is one of the great, great feats in the history of motor racing. It was that car which kind of put Sterling Moss on the map. They used to call him the Boy Wonder and he kind of became Mr. Motor Racing after that. The car stays being driven by Gert Straub. Um, nobody knows those cars better than Gert. Um, they're kind of his family. Uh, he is, I think, the fourth generation of his family to work at Mercedes-Benz. The fifth and the sixth are already there. Um, he's retiring today, so this is kind of like the last thing he's going to do. What a way to sign off a career. There really couldn't be anybody better or more appropriate to be driving that car today. At the beginning, I was a little bit nervous because there's always a pressure on the driver. But now, after we are finished, yeah, it's a, a fantastic feeling. Yeah. It's a race car designed to be on a racetrack full speed and not designed for uh, stop and go traffic in town. But the police did a perfect job. They guided me through town and uh, it was comfortable for me. Going over the bridges was a special moment, uh, seeing Big Ben left to me. But I was always fully concentrated on the car. Lady Moss has been tremendously welcoming here at her home in Shepherd Street and also their son Elliot, who we'll see in the film as well. Without their support and active engagement, none of this would have been possible throughout my entire life, uh, that race, this car, of all the cars we drove, and there are a lot, and this just meant more than anything else. I mean, it's, it's literally etched onto the building um, on his balconies. My personal memory of it uh, is from 2015, uh, which was the 60th anniversary in Brescia, and uh, I think the last time I ever did a, a public thing with him. And that was the first time I sat in the, the driver's seat and, and had an idea of how difficult it, it would have actually been. There's something for everyone in this film, whether you're a lifelong fan like me or you're new to the story of the Mille Mille and Sir Sterling Moss. And we hope that people will spot some of the things that have happened deliberately and some of them by happy accident throughout the film. And I think it's only fitting that, that 722 moves to a new phase of its life and we'll be taking her back to the museum in Stuttgart where millions of people a year will get to see her up close and in person. And of course, for all of the rest of us, there's always this fabulous film.